So we're going to look at what are smart meters. Smart meters are computerized electric meters. They broadcast information about energy usage to the utility company via radio frequency waves. These are the same waves that cell phones emit, but smart meters broadcast at a power density 100 to 160 times that of a cell phone. Next. They record <coughs> your usage data in fine detail. Next. This is why they generate dirty electricity, which is very harmful to human health, and we will be going into that more. The other thing they do is put meter readers out of jobs. Next. They allow your electricity, Nathan? They allow your electricity to be shut off by the utility company. Next. They shut off your appliances when they want to, and they allow them to charge next time of use rates. Your utility rates are going to rise. In Oklahoma, peak rates, which is another term that is used, are for certain hours of the day, 10 times your regular electric rates. The bottom line is this. You are going to be washing your clothes at 2 a.m. if you do not want to be paying their peak rates. I am not kidding about this. This is part of the reason for smart meters, and this is part of the reason that all of these new appliances that are being sold now have a wireless chip in them that will allow you, well, that chip doesn't allow you to do this, but they're computerized so that you can defer washing time until later. The other thing is they can, if the demand on the power grid is too high, shut off your appliances whenever they want to. So today I was late because MapQuest gave me bad directions. But let's say I'm on my way to work and I've got to do my laundry and boom, well, they just decided, you know what, demand's too high right now and, you know, I'm wearing my jeans to work. Next, radio frequency, RF, wireless, and microwave are all of the same terms. They all mean the same thing. Next. Electromagnetic fields and electromagnetic frequencies, the abbreviation EMF is what we use for that. And this is something that I just want to get you familiar with because we start batting these terms around and then people don't know what they are. Smart meter radiation um, falls in the yellow part of that, uh, that chart up there. Again, in the same area that cell phones are. At the very bottom of the chart, in the green, you have the power that the electricity that is running through your uh, home wiring. And my concept, this is what happens to me with all this wireless and everything. My, my thoughts start to not flow quite so well. I apologize. Gamma rays are up at the top. They're, they're what are emitted by the sun. Now, next. Our bodies communicate via electromagnetic currents. So these are very, very important to us. And all of these unnatural ones that are, we're just being saturated at this point are affecting us and have the potential <coughs> to affect a lot of things. Smart meters emit radio frequency waves 24 seven. The utilities say they transmit six times a day. This is a half hour of smart meter transmissions. This was done by the Electric Power Research Institute, which is an, an arm of the electric industry. And you can see, this does not even measure all the pulses, but you can see in a half hour period how many times these meters are doing this kind of thing. Now, the truth is, the meters transmit 9,600 to 190,000 times in a single day. Can you repeat that? Yeah. 9,600 to 190,000 times in a single day. What happened was PG&E, which is DTE's counterpart out in California, was telling everybody the same thing that DTE is saying here in Michigan. Oh, the meters only transmit six times a day. Well, the meters transmit a signal to the utility company six times a day. Now, they can change that. It could be 12 times a day. It could be one time a day. 
It could be 24 times a day. I mean, they can, they can program it to do whatever they want it to do, and they can do that from, they don't have to come out and do anything to your meter. They can do that from their offices. So this is what, this is what DTE constantly does, is they take, they take what is a fact, but they don't tell you everything about it. So it becomes a lie. Now, under court order, PG&E was forced to admit the 9,600 to 190,000 time figure. Up at the top, you, you see meter read data, and that is the six times per day. And when you go down to the bottom, that part that is circled in red, that is what they were forced to admit in court. So you're in a city. You got thousands of meters around you. Your body is experiencing every single one of these hits. One of the things you might say is, well, there are so many other wireless devices in the environment nowadays. So what's the big deal about smart meters? It is true, and, and, and we are getting more and more every day. More and more devices, all of these things are bad for your health. Like them as much as you can. They are not good for your health, and they are having health effects. One of our members, sons, was just diagnosed with a glioblastoma. Glioblastoma is a brain cancer. It, 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 it occurs in this part of your brain, your temporal lobe. It is on the rise significantly and dramatically. And guess where most glioblastomas are found? on the left side where everybody holds their phone except for the few people who happen to be left-handed who are holding it on that side. So he's not electrosensitive. He doesn't feel things like I do. He didn't feel any problems. You have five months to live with a glioblastoma if you don't undergo chemotherapy, 15 months max. Smart meters are this stuff on steroids, okay? And that explains why so many people who were using wireless, had Wi-Fi in their homes, were on their cell phones all the time. All these different things seemed to be fine. Now, not everybody was. There are people who were already affected by those things. But the majority of people that I have spoken with have had these devices in their home and felt nothing until a smart meter was put on. That chart up there, you see the blue, those are the peak levels of the smart meter. The green is the average, so you see what taking an average does. Now imagine if you take an average where something's you know, at zero or 100 and this is what it does and something else is always steady at 50, the average of both of those is gonna be this flat line 50. That again is one of these tw ways that they're twisting the facts about smart meters. At the bottom, and you really can't even see it, there's a little squiggly yellow line, okay? And it goes up and down too. This was done, this chart was done in 2010. That squiggly yellow line is all of the other radiation in the environment other than smart meters. You can see how significant smart meter radiation is and the incredible level that it is adding. Your body's experiencing every single hit of this. Background microwave radiation has increased more than 20,000 times since 1980. That is from a 2010 study. The amount now, you know, I mean, it must be 40, 80,000 times since that point. One of the interesting things is that ADHD, autisms, Parkin autism, Parkinson's disease, the insomnia epidemic, all correlate with the huge increases in background RF radiation. Why do smart meters emit so much radiation? Here's a picture of what most people are thinking of when they think of a smart meter signaling. This is the kind of thing the utility companies show you. Oh, it's just one little meter and it just goes ping six times a day. If you know a little more, you're going to know that one meter is transmitting to another, to another, to another, and to a collector meter. So you're getting already more radiation that way. 
Here's a picture of just three smart meters communicating with each other. Notice that the meters send out microwave radiation in all <laughs> directions, which is represented here by the circles. Where the waves sent out by meters overlap, there are hot spots of higher than expected radiation. So you can see where those circles are intersecting. And again, the meters can transmit for two miles. So you're getting dosed by radiation from literally thousands of meters. And most people, you, you see a little blue line and then you see a red line. The meters transmit to this collector meter, but they also transmit back. So the collector meter and the other meters are signaling back to each other. So there's, there's, there's twice as much as you would even think in the beginning. There's a lot going on and there has to be for 190,000 transmissions in 24 hours. The meters send their data to the collector meter by passing it meter to meter. The closer your meter is to the collector, the more transmissions, the pulses of radiation, you are receiving each day. So the person who is next to the collector meter, or who actually has a collector meter on their house, is receiving even more RF. If you are at the end of the row, like you're on a cul-de-sac, and you are the last person there, you are the safest person in that line of smart meters. The meters are chattering with each other constantly, constantly, constantly. The meters are radiating in a globe. This is, again, not even taking all of the different houses, but some of them. And you can see how basically everything is covered in what we would call electro smog. If this were smoke, and we could see it, we'd be cleaning it up.